nearly as, as much attention to them as I ought but I wanted to talk about homesteading has made me rich I've heard it said that if you have fresh flowers in every room in your house then you're wealthy you're rich well guess what <laughs> I have hit that place in my life where I at least this time of year from about spring to fall I can have fresh flowers in my house every room of my house these are actually going into a bouquet for some friends of mine's birthday. I wanted to tell you a couple of interesting facts about zinnias. First of all, the more you cut zinnias, the more they grow and bloom. They are, to me, an extremely easy to grow cut flower. It's very easy to save the seed from them. I saved all the seed from all the zinnias and the cosmos that I'm growing this year. I can link that video here, down below, and at the end of this video. Another really fun fact about zinnias is that in the book by Ellen Montgomery, Anne of Green Gables, that's Anne with an E, she says that she does not like zinnias. I love just about everything there is about Anne with an E, except I have to disagree with her on the zinnias. Zinnias to me are gloriously happy, extremely low maintenance, and they just keep on giving until the first frost. So I highly recommend putting zinnias in your garden. This is my flower garden, but we'll head up the hill and I'll show you what I've got in my vegetable garden. It's that time of year where anytime I come in the garden, I bring a basket to put any just loose random harvest that I find. Here's our okra. Coming along, it won't be long before it's time to harvest and pickle okra, and of course, fry it. We also just have a few pepper plants that made it. They'll be ready to harvest eventually. Not quite yet. Oh, that one's actually ready, I think. We'll have to grab that one. I honestly have no idea what kind of peppers these are. They got all jumbled up in my mind. These are my peppers that are making a comeback, albeit a very slow one, whenever that squash plant was taking over. If you truly want homesteading to make you rich, plant flowers in your garden. I have these gorgeous zinnias, and as you can see, there are bees and moths and beautiful butterflies. I also have lovely nasturtiums and a few marigolds. I didn't get nearly as many flowers planted in here. Oh, I forgot about the main one. <laughs> the sunflowers, which are basically almost done. I didn't plant nearly as many flowers as I would like. I just didn't get around to it. But just know that it's a very good idea to plant beneficial flowers that attract good pollinators to your garden. Another thing that flowers can do, and I'm not sure zinnias do this, but marigolds and nasturtiums do this, they repel certain bugs that will just eat up your plants. Obviously you need to qu plant quite a few more than we did, but each year we'll be increasing our beneficial pollinators and beneficial flowers to the point where hopefully we're gonna have a small row of beneficial flowers in between each row of vegetables or staggered in between each plant. We have a few tomatoes starting to get ripe. I'm just going to go ahead and pick them. And of course, we're always in the battle with the blight. 
Did you see any? Did you see any tomatoes in your plants? There's so many green ones, but there's not any red or orange ones. What about um? Do they look blighty at all? No. Yeah. There's a tiny bit, but they're not blight. That's amazing. So if you recall, we've hardly done anything to prevent blight on Gracie's tomatoes. Her tomatoes look fabulous. But on the underside though. Maybe the tiniest bit starting down here, yep. But we've been whacking away blight on ours for a month. She's got some gorgeous large green ones coming in. Hello ladies. I know, we gotta pick beans again, don't we? It is time. Obviously, I could probably fill up two of these baskets with beans, but that is not what I'm doing right now. So I think this is pretty good for a quick trip out into the garden to just grab some flowers and whatever needs picking right this second, looking good. I was showing you guys the goats and Dolly. I was thinking, why are they in the pasture? And then I realized because I forgot to put them in the back pasture. Okay, so my peaches were rotting before they were ripening, which was pretty heartbreaking because these were very expensive for me to purchase, uh, about $30 for half a bushel. So my friends told me the other day that they need to be laid out, not touching each other. And then of course, with something laid nicely over the top, like a thin sheet, or this is like a thin baby blanket to keep the bugs off. So that's what I've done here. And it's seeming like that is working like a charm. I'm gonna try to get them back here without any sort of feed. I think they'll follow me. Look at them all in a pretty row. Come on, Dolly, she's the hard one but I don't like carrying feed buckets to get them back here because they I have to run, like I have to sprint for them to not crowd me. Which I don't mind the goats crowding me, but Dolly crowding me, I am not too partial to that. Oh good, she's coming. Are you guys wanting to get back here where everything is lush and green and lovely? <laughs> I know that's disgusting, but they do that in one day. So we will go ahead and fill this back up. I think I'll just leave the camera right here and let you guys see what happens right there. Donald does seem to love that pool. Who wouldn't on a hot summer day like this? So here is the finished result of all that glorious flower picking. When I say homesteading has made me rich, I really mean it. I could never afford to buy these flowers and decorate my home with them or give this kind of bouquet to a friend. And so I really do feel like homesteading has made me rich. I also can't afford to buy the incredible amount of organic produce that I'm currently being sort of overwhelmed with in my garden. Shh, shh, be real quiet. Don't wake up, Papa. 
Come on. Come on. <laughs> Do you have a nice nap? Nap time is over. Time to get back into the rhythm of the day. It was a great day on the homestead. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh.